Hey, are you Simonites? It's Simon Simon, owner and broker of the Simon Simon Group right here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I'm at a park and it's a walk in the park in real estate when you have the right agent working for you. And I'm definitely that person for you. Now, listen, a lot of people are wondering, Simon, should I buy a home in this market? And the short answer to that question is yes. And let me explain why it's a good opportunity to buy a home in this market. But before I get into it, I want you to watch this video that Grant Cardone did asking one of the Shark Tanks. Ready, guys? If you were down to your last million dollars, the game is this. You have to invest it. This yeah. is the last million. The last million. The last milli. I would invest in something. Yeah. Real estate. That's a perfect answer. Why? Why real estate? You got to take desperation out of the equation. Mm. So I believe in myself. I believe if I have nothing, I would become wealthy again. Yeah. But if I'm down my last million, you know what I got to do? I got to build a foundation. Yeah. So I would take that money, I would invest in real estate, I would get an income stream, and I would forget it existed. And then I would go out and do other crazy Story things. of my life right there. God damn, that was perfect. Is that a good answer? <laughs> I mean, it's just a no-brainer to me. It's the, it's the best kept secret on planet Earth. So in that video, he said that the best investment is buying real estate. Why is that? You want to diversify and real estate is one of the safest bets because you can track it historically and it appreciates in value every single year. It's no surprise that I own a portfolio of properties because I practice what I preach, guys. Now. You're probably wondering about the interest rates. Let's get into that. Interest rates, we were basically spoiled for 10 to 12 years with really low interest rates around 3%. That wasn't sustainable. Now, interest rates have jumped to nearly 6%, six and a quarter in that range. You're probably wondering, that's so high, I shouldn't buy a home. Well, wrong. I have an article here from the Orlando Sentinel from March 13th, 1993. And in the article it says, other good news for buyers and sellers is that home mortgage rates continue to fall. The current rate is the lowest in almost 20 years with fixed rate loans currently available at 7.75%. As a result, home buyers will be able to afford greater mortgages. That's from 1993. This market is so rate sensitive. It has no idea. We forget very easy, right? Interest rates were almost 20% in the 80s. The current rates are not that bad. Now, I'm not saying go out there and buy the most expensive house on the block or do a stupid real estate decision. When you hire a realtor as a trusted confidant like myself, I'm going to guide you to that right investment. I will tell you historically what this home has brought pre-COVID, what it's worth now, because the last thing I want you to do is to overpay. I'm in the business of protecting your interests, not mine. I will always work for your best interests. Now, here's some other stats I want to share with you. This is from Southwest Orlando compared from now to last year. Now, last year, the average home sold at list price or 18% higher than list price. That whole multiple offer situation where you had like 20 offers in one home. Well guys, times have changed. The current situation right now is you can get a discount on average of 3% off the list price. So even though you're paying slightly higher for a more stable interest rate, you are still getting it at a discount. You can match your monthly payments if you have the right realtor negotiating on your behalf. Like I said in my previous videos, there's a huge disconnect between sellers and buyers. Sellers think it's last year when it's not, and buyers think they can just steal a property where they can't. So make that right decision. Now, there's a state of the market report that's published every month. And just some quick stats also. Inventory is up 140%. Months of supply is up 242%. Last year, we had less than a month of inventory. Right now, we're about 
three months of inventory. As far as the interest rates, which I really don't want you guys to get hung up on, last year in March, the current interest rate was 3.87% on average. Right now it's 6.36. However, we have lenders that will probably get you a 30 year for around 5.75 or 6% in the current situation right now. But don't be rain sensitive. I mean, this market, it needs this kind of relax. We need interest rates. Don't hate me for this, but we need interest rates to stay like this for another one to two years so we can stabilize the market. It's not healthy to have free money where the rates were two, three percent. So you can still find great deals if you have the right realtor batting for you in your corner. We will help you find the right one. And it's always a walk in the park with the Simon Simon Group. And in closing, the interest rates, they said they're going to be hiked up again this month. I don't think so. Why do you ask me that question? Well, look what happened recently on the news. Silicon Valley Bank, they basically went under because they didn't expect the Fed to hike interest rates so many times that they basically blew it out of proportion. They went under and you saw the president went on TV. The Fed chairman went on TV. They're talking about the strength of the American banking system. Now, do you really think that the Fed is going to continue to hike interest rates to crazy amount of levels, knowing that it might jeopardize the stability of the American banking system? I highly doubt it. And in my last video, I predicted that interest rates are going to remain around the same, around 6% for the next year or so. So you're not going to be expecting much change, in my opinion, from the interest rates. Hey guys, if you found this value in this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like, comment, hit the notification button on top. This is Simon Simon. If you have any questions or have any opinions, comment in the section below. Until then, every home has a story. Let us tell yours. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.